Again, everyone. Well, no drastic changes for Sunderland. Craig Gordon kept a clean sheet for Scotland in midweek. In front of him, Paul McShane plays despite the cut last Saturday, which needed 10 stitches in that head wound. Dean Whitehead and Carlos Edwards are still injured. So the one change from Roy Keane today, Liam Miller brought in for Anthony Stokes. And the strikers are Michael Chopra and Daryl Murphy. There was no substitute goalkeeper last week, but Darren Ward is on the bench today with Grant Ledbetter available for the first time this season after a hamstring strain. Well, only one change, as you see, Mark. No change in system. I don't expect to see it anyway. And the one thing that he does know after last week's poor result of Wigan, the, the defenders have got to play well today when you're up against the quality they're going to face today. Important that Noswell there and McShane are solid in front of Craig Gordon there. Ahead of that, Dwight York needs to influence the game. It'll be hard for him. He's in, he's in a midfield that's fit and competitive, but he's got to try and get him on the ball. The two will try and get forward, no doubt about that. They've got good players either side in Richardson and Miller. Interested to see if they can create anything. The front two need service if they get it, and Sunderland might just have another good day. For Liverpool, well, Pepe Reina is back from Greece where he played for Spain on the Wednesday. At the back, Jamie Carragher is the captain today alongside Sammy Herpier. Daniel Agger is stood down. Steven Gerrard's midfield place goes to Momo Sissoko, and Ryan Babel makes his first Premier League starting place with John Arnarisa, as does. Andre Voronin in attack in tandem today with Fernando Torres. Peter Crouch hasn't even made the bench. Presumably, he's been kept in reserve for Tuesday's Champions League qualifier at home to Toulouse. Well, a measure of the strength of this team is when you look at that bench. I think it's strong. You think of the players that aren't there. And this is the 11 he's picked. A little different in midfield from what we might be used to this season. Who's going to play like Steven Gerrard? It's a difficult ask. Sissoko, will he just back up play? Or Alonso, who likes to pass the ball? Which one of them will actually make any forward runs? If any of them will make a run and get ahead of the ball. Pennant, decent on the outside. Babel, looking forward to seeing him play from that left-hand side. He can strike it, loves to tuck inside and have shots at goal. My first look at Voronin, be interested to see him. My first look at Torres last week, very impressed. Well, Liverpool have lost just one league game in Sunderland in nigh on 50 years. This Sunderland group, one win, one draw, one defeat in that order on the club's return to the Premier League. As always, Dwight York smiling. He's had some uh, Caribbean-like uh, sunshine up here for the last three or four days. Whether he'll be smiling at the end, we're about to find out. It is the third Premier League weekend of the new season. It starts in the same setting as the first, the Stadium of Light. Roy Keane's first managerial match-up against the club from Anfield, where he made his debut as a player and against whom he fought tooth and nail for so many years with Manchester United. It is Sunderland against Liverpool, and it is live. We're live at the Stadium of Light. A big weekend of Premier League football starts here with Sunderland and Liverpool. If you're a Sky Digital viewer and you wish to go interactive, push the red button on your remote control, follow the instructions. A new menu page this year, that is it. Plenty to enjoy. Match commentators Andy Gray and Martin Tyler. Thank you, Richard. Well, refereeing accountability highlighted in Liverpool's last game. The penalising of Steve Finnan against Chelsea has meant this weekend off for Rob Stiles. So Mark Halsey, today's official, well aware of Keith Hackett's rules as well as the laws of the game. What do you make of that uh, suspension of a, a referee, Andy? Well, I'm not surprised, Martin. I think this, the measure of the mistake that, that Rob Stiles made was there for all to see. And, and I think Keith Hackett has done this before. He's not the first to suffer Rob Stiles for what I think was an overall bad performance, not just the one decision. And uh, it's nothing. You know, we're all under pressure. Whatever walk of life we choose to go into, Rob will be back. Rafa Benitez had plenty to say about that and other issues, including the early kickoff. Here with 14 members of his squad away on midweek international assignments. And of course, no sooner were they back than they had to set off up here to the northeast and on the Friday before a bank holiday weekend. It was on the last August bank holiday Monday when Roy Keane agreed to take charge of Sunderland. So. 
his first year, a very successful one, comes to an end today. He's really striving to create a team in his own image, dedicated, driven. And he's had a few uh, second thoughts maybe this week after some harsh words after the defeat at uh, Wigan. Making just one team change. Options possibly a bit limited by some injuries. Trying to bring some new players in. Andy Cole has signed. But uh, not in time to take part today, nor does he fit. I think he's fit enough to take part for a week or so. I think he would have had his thoughts when the season started, Martin. And I think the measure of Roy Keane, certainly from what I feel as a learning as a player, that he will have learned in the last couple of weeks a lot more about his squad than he probably did in the whole of last season. And Liverpool picked up a three points at Aston Villa on the uh, opening day, their only league away game so far. Sunderland, of course, have won their only home game since promotion. Sending, apparently, shockwaves through Spurs in doing so. <laughs> Liverpool only scored 18 away goals last season in uh, the Premiership. And put them 13th on that particular list and... 13 of those goals were scored against the bottom six, yeah. so it's one area really where Rafa Benitez can look to, to maybe uh, improving it. It's a bad back pass by Halford and Boronin, and Gordon makes a really important save in the opening seconds. Well, that's just an awful pass from Halford this early in the match, put his team under such pressure. What good goalkeeping. Much has been made of Craig Gordon signing, the amount of money it costs, but it's for saves like that that he's been brought in. For a, a club that has struggled to score on their travels, uh, to be gifted one in the opening minutes. And here's uh, Sammy Herpia in the opening seconds, even. Would have been uh, well, a catastrophe for Sunderland, but the new goalkeeper from Scotland showed his uh, quality there right at the start. But even from the. It's just a real nerve to start from Sunderland. I didn't see those against Tottenham. But the pass back was poor. The mark of Herpia was poor. down by Finnan, Mandalaro had stayed back, Miller trying to uh, follow uh, Irishman Daryl Murphy on the ball but Liverpool snapping in and here comes Warren in again, he's got Torres up with him, but, uh, Pennant hasn't got quite back wide on the right yet but Torres has gone to win it, and yeah, Sissoko's got a problem. The two have really caught him a bit late with a tackle there, right on the halfway line, he's just about got up. It's not a lucky ground, this, for him. The last time Liverpool yeah. were here, he was sent <laughs> off. He's trying to run it off at the moment, that uh, early contact. Carrigan. Well, what a start. was drastically under hit. He takes his time so long and then plays one so under hit. But watch the goalkeeper. Watch the way he spreads himself, making his body as big as he possibly can. And he got a little bit of luck he needed. Now that's really good goalkeeper. Hopefully with the throw. Now below it got in the way of it. Out by Alonso. Oh, Mosworth is uh, bedded in well as a central defender these days. Free transfer from Gillingham a couple of years back. And now it's uh, Herpia who is hurt. Well, I think in this situation, no, we need, when someone's coming through 1v1, it's always a big question mark. What do you do as a as a, both a front man and a goalkeeper. He chooses to just make himself as big as possible, Craig Gordon. Try and limit the space around him. 
Maybe, maybe Vornan could have done better, but... So I was hoping the, the goalkeeper went to ground uh, yeah. earlier and uh, tried to just clip it up over this expensive acquisition by Roy Keane. Just shaking up Sammy Hoopier there, that challenge from Darren Murphy. Looks like he just bumps into him, but does he leave an arm there? Uh, just a forearm, I think, just catches him. I don't think there's any intention there from Murphy, but you can see it's caught him on the nose there. Well, with blood, of course, the uh, regulations now are very strict. And uh, Hoopier will have to go off until they... Uh, Stem the flow. Maybe a change of shirt will be uh, required as well. And Liverpool's change kit here. Not well of the doctor. Give me a look as well, just checking for any signs of concussion. And Lager. Had a harrowing time playing for Denmark against the Republic of Ireland in midweek. Maybe that's part of the reason <laughs> he's been uh, left out, but he might be scheduled for an earlier than anticipated return. And there's an injury caused by one of the Republic of Ireland squad on duty on Wednesday, Daryl Murphy, who won his third camp as a substitute. Chopper trying to get away. Good turn by Arbeloa, who's filling in in the middle of the defence alongside the carrier at the moment. Well, this might be a game where we don't see a lot of the ball at times, Sunderland. And when they do have it, very important to keep it as long as they can. Liverpool will try and work them, work the ball around them. They won't be shy knocking it forward like we've just seen. They've got two front men who are going to be willing, willing workers. Kite might not be playing, but Vaughan will work just as hard. Well, Shane winning that header, he might have some sympathy for Herpia, having had to go off himself a week ago with a, a bad gash. The uh, worst one in uh, Herpia's got at the moment. Rainer well off his line to make sure there was no chance of Chopper getting to the cross. Yeah, nice early ball, we might have gone on, Kieran Richardson, but decided to play it in early. Actually, I need to change his shorts. And obviously, some specks of blood. Miller, that is Nosworthy. Well, she used to be uh, a right back here, so he's uh, not like a, a stranger to that sort of advanced territory on the right hand side. I was just seeing, thinking to myself, as he got down there, get a corner at least. Made that lovely run. Took the opportunity with the man extra, Hippie had just coming back on. Time will return, facing the corner. Well, they scored late against Spurs, they're looking for an early uh, advantage here, Sunderland. And Shane came in behind Torres. That's a shoot, how much you knew about it, really. Liverpool's typical marking up there. They do protect the six-yard box, they're line four, big players along it. Roy Keane has brought in a good number of players that he's known from uh, his time with Celtic or Manchester United and, of course, the Republic of Ireland. Shane comes into two of those uh, three categories. Early from Halford, tied up. And a good play with the referee, had a little look, saw Pennant with the ball. No point in stopping the game. It looks like Alonso's just going to play his role. They'll go and fetch and carry it. Sissoko will probably be the one who will most be like Steven Gerrard, trying to get forward. And they'll be trying to run off to at York, in fact, working him. Oh, it's interesting, that Andy, isn't it? Because Sissoko, of course, unlike Gerrard, is not a goal scorer. He's not scored a goal for Liverpool. No. And Swallis protesting. And he's the left back today. Oh, 
And the one thing the Isle of Sorry, I'm just sorry, Ian Hart, Hart might be a left back yeah. in the future. He's uh, been up on trial for the last few days, hoping to be offered a deal by Roy Keane. Yeah, by a shot then, eh? Carrigan. was a flash there. Yeah. He's down here. Shane's quickly up. And Torres isn't far behind. I think it's just a really brutal ended. It's that sort of start to the game, though. So they're looking to impose themselves. Here's Pennant. Finnett. Brought by Pennant. Voronin flipped. And no, he says by a two hoop. No, you can see the fans right behind the goal who've got a great view of this tackle. We're all up one mass here. They're convinced that he gets the ball to him as he slides in. You can see he doesn't. Just catches Voronin. And it's the sort of position from which Stephen Gerrard won the game with Aston Villa, but no Gerrard today. No Gerard, no Risa. Another one who'd be a candidate Absolutely. for this sort of angle. And now Agar, another left footer. <laughs> Facing the ball is uh, Xavi Alonso. And the Sunderland nowhere near the right distance back. Not Alonso. That's the wall. Struck it well enough, but not high enough to get over it. And we've got a family connection in the Premier League with his uh, older brother. On the uh, Bolton staff. Pressure by Miller on Babel and by Chopra on Alonso. Crowd enjoyed that. Well, we'll do we'll playing full side. We have to. And there is a gap in the quality of the sides. That's an, uh, an obvious thing for me to say. So you have to bridge that somehow. One of the ways that you can try is by working extremely hard. Sammy Herpier is uh, going upfield to challenge Paul McShane and company. And as that patch is working for McShane, the blood's still coming from uh, up his nose. That was a confident breakout by uh, Liam Miller. Player came on against Tottenham here and played really well for the last half hour of the game. It was instrumental and in really turning the, the game. That late winner. I'm just looking down below, Martin Agar's just been called back by Benitez. So I obviously have got those concerns still about uh, Hufia. McShane in front of Torres, collected by Finnan though for Liverpool. Pennant. Powerful run by Mohamed Sissoko. Good support by Finnan. And towards Voronin. And coming in behind him is Ryan Babel here. Alonso just had to change his uh, feet. And then uh, rather hurried the shot and put it wide. Well, it was a slight opportunity for Liverpool. Alonso just drifts in the edge of the box. Don't really deal with this cross. Not the best ball for him. You know, he should know Alonso's right-footed. He didn't stick it that side. It meant Alonso had to take a touch on it. 
He'd much rather have stead, stepped onto it and had it first time. Xavi Alonso was uh, telling me how bad the pitch was in uh, Salonica. But uh, Spain played Grayson on uh, Wednesday, very happy with the surface here. Chasing. That's good defending. You know, one or two might have been tempted to play it back to the goalkeeper, but he was under pressure, Wallace. Fair. Pennant. Everybody knows where they Assistant play by uh, Chopra. Uh, referee's a long, long way away from it, but uh, it was a long, long way. Lager's going to come on. Mm. And it's Daniel Lager for Sammy Herpy, and let's hear from the touchline from our man Jeff Shreve. Jeff. Sammy Hoopy has actually got two problems. They can't stop his nose from bleeding, even though he's got that plug in it, which in itself gives him a breathing problem. But he also has blurred vision in his left eye, so the double impact means that Rafa Benitez has made a decision. He's off, Agar on. Well, disappointing for Sammy Hoopy, who starts uh, decreasing these days. So the man who has uh, regularly taken his place is now on as a substitute for the Finn. Daniel Agar. And it's his 50th appearance for Liverpool. Well, he went off there, Sammy Hoopy indicating that he felt Murphy had held with him. I thought it was an accident myself, I thought he'd just get caught. Miller caught in possession. Halford. Halford glancing it on. It's just run for Chopra. The two who's made a really powerful run from midfield to get into the penalty area, but he's left upfield now. Well, that was a pity. A good possession there, and the first time in the match they were able to get players forward. Five of them in all were in that move. York. Very much a defensive midfield player these days. Fifty years for Sunderland at home in the league against Liverpool. Andy, we uh, broadcast it live. It was uh, in the short time here as manager of Howard Wilkinson back in 2002. 2002, was it? Bennett. Mm. Now Fidden. No time for Voronin. Stand by a two hoot. Oh, Torres can chase this, he's onside. Oh, very nearly got there, too. Flung himself at it. Just enough in the header in the end from Nosworthy. Quite right to keep the flag down. Borman not interested in the play. But Torres definitely was. I just saw Stokes get called back from his warm-up back and sat on the bench. I just wonder if there's a problem anywhere. Certainly getting changed, ready to come on. Oh, I'm wondering if it's Kieran Richardson. Anthony Stokes, who uh, can play up front and uh, was the wide right midfield player at Wigan last Saturday. It didn't work out for him or for Sunderland in that position. Uh, we'll see shortly, maybe. Fidden. 
in it. And McShane. Sides having to make changes inside the opening 20 minutes. The Stokes, who uh, were missing from uh, the Republic of Ireland's under 21 setup on Tuesday, something for which Roy Keane has uh, said is his fault and apologised to the under 21 manager Don Givens. Right down in communication. And he's uh, certainly here where we can see him now. Yeah, as Keane Richardson coming off. Well, it's never good when you're forced to make a change within 20 minutes. You've made a lot of plans all week for the game. And 20 minutes in, they changed. Yeah, some of them have made more plans than Liverpool, really, yeah, because they've had absolutely. fewer players away. And he starts heading for a like-for-like -like replacement. Arthur has this long throw. Lower, just to flip it away rather coolly, I thought, in the end. Mm. In the circumstances, Sissoko. And 12 by Halford. Nice. Uh, great challenge by Babel. And Miller, quick free kick from York. Stokes. To his pass, oh, no flag. I mean, the flag doesn't always go up. You're no. furious, but the, <laughs> even the players are still coming to terms with this. The flag won't go up if he, and Benitez is out, but he's probably the linesman just thought, well, he hasn't got the ball, so I'll keep my flag down. It does add to the confusion. Yeah, he flagged for an early one, Mark Horsey kept the game yeah. going, and uh, I think this should be uh, quite easy for them. Premier League uh, officials to come out and say this is what we're, mm. we're doing we do try and look for a continuity they have regular meetings the referees mm, they're working hard defensively when they don't have a ball Sunderland that is and what they've done well up to now is they've resorted Liverpool to that kind of ball it's not always a bad ball mind you but they have resorted them to playing it much longer, I think, than Liverpool would have liked at times. But maybe not the sort of ball that uh, Torres and Voradin are used to from the football they've come yeah. from. Yeah. I think they're so willing workers as well, Martin. It's sometimes easy for a defender to look up, see two people up front who are going to run the socks off and think, OK, I just need to knock it long if I'm in trouble, and let them chase it. They've done well, restricted. Not a lot's happened in the game. I mean, neither team's really imposed themselves on it. Almost like sparring going on at the moment. Mm, it was inside the opening uh, 20 seconds and a real chance happened. So, uh, Carol Murphy tries his luck from outside the Liverpool penalty area. There's more live football for you today on Sky Sports. In the championship, Sheffield United against West Bromwich Albion. 5.15. Sky Sports 1 and HD1. Suzuka. He'll put his head in there. That's shame, but he has got to, an injury to try and protect. And just stood down. I think it's much the hoopy. I think he gets caught, but I don't think there's intent or anything like that. Shoulder, collarbone. I, mean, I know suddenly they're not home, but when you look at this fixture, you look at it, Martin, it's obviously Liverpool are the team who are the ones that are under pressure. They're the team who would be expected to come here if they want to win the title. And they're looking to take three points, and, and they can almost set up his team, Roy Keane, with that in mind, almost as an away tie, and say, OK, well, let's see if Liverpool can cope with the pressure, if we can keep it nil now for as long as we can, or better, and see how it goes. And it pressed into a mistake. Chopra. And uh, a very good run by Anthony Stokes. He couldn't quite match it with the uh, finish. He caught uh, Liverpool out with his movement, the Sunderland substitute. 
Well, that's the best piece of football we've seen in the match. Beautifully worked across the pitch. You watch Stokes make that little diagonal run. Perfect timing of the pass and the run. Just a pity for him. But he rather scuffs the shot. Lovely ball from Chopra. Just doesn't get it. Stokes waits on the far side of that penalty area. McShane is up. The height of uh, Dixon of Tuhu could be a factor as well. Miller takes it towards Stokes. And, uh, McShane as well. Stokes has stayed down. The referee's decided to stop it here. Torres has a problem as well. A little quick with a whistle, Mark Rosie, but I guess if he thinks there's a head injury here. And he would stop the play, but everyone up and about. No need for the trainers and the physios. But it's good for Liverpool. Torres scored that splendid goal against Chelsea mm. last week. He's off the mark. Voron in a spectacular effort to win the away leg in Toulouse. So they've uh, put down a marker on the score sheet. Agat. 25 minutes gone at the Stadium of Light, 0-0. Nil Suzoko, -nil. and again finding that uh, his touch has got to be spot on. Someone biting in around him. And a run off Carragher. And look at the effort here. And the uh, Sunderland fans loving the uh, pressure being applied by Roy Keane's team in Roy Keane style. Well, that's what I mean about making up the difference in the, the quality by working extremely hard. And it gets a response from the Sunderland fans. They just have to know, the Sunderland players, that he's uh, looking. And, uh, that's an absolute given. It's the least that they can expect from them is the work rate and the... No disappointment so far in that respect. Ross Wallace with a free kick. Murphy. Two who. Yeah, that's rash. There's a difference between uh, pressing in a control fashion, even to be right on the edge. But if you go uh, over the edge, that's what's going to happen. Well, he does like a tackle. I don't think it's much in it. I think that below is fine. He slides in here, he just goes over his lasers. Look at that. I mean, there's hardly a bit of contact there. The Arbelo sees the tackle coming, leaves his feet there, takes a free kick. Well, three already this season. <laughs> He's tightening them up. <laughs> but he does compete and he does contest it in there. And it's important for Roy Keane that he has someone in there like that. Five is the first. Uh... Only for a suspension, I think Roy Keane's pretty much an expert on uh, those uh, regulations. Well, he knows he's got to stay on his feet now too. Yeah. Well, he's got the best part of an hour to do that. One missed time tackle now. Gives himself a problem. Something was judged by Carragher, I guess there to help out. Ross uh, Wallace, who was challenging uh, Pennant, did so in such a way that's caused him a bit of pain. Oh, that looked pretty obvious, this, but whether it gets stood on, I don't know. We'll come together here. No, it just. Yeah. Which is down towards the knee, right knee there. He's up and about now. A very skillful player, the way he made that winning goal mm. for Chopra against Spurs. It's a cool piece of skill. But here's Torres. Unlike him. He gave Nosworthy a chance there. They were a little upside of the centre backs. Nosworthy was five, six yards deeper than McShane. That's why Torres wasn't flagged offside. But first touch let the ball away from him a bit.
just gets his head to it. Matuhu just about to lose the time available. Headed by Alonso. This kick wasn't uh, not up to scratch. Craig Holford there, not taking any chances second time round. No. Could have turned and played it back to his goalkeeper. Decided. He stepped up into the Premier League with Reading, but not that many chances there. And uh, they sold him on to Sunderland. Haven't seen too much of Ryan Babble as yet. I don't think we've seen an awful lot of Liverpool as yet. I think Roy Keane will be absolutely delighted that Liverpool are playing the way they are. But you can only play as well as a team lets you. And part of the setup of the Sunderland side is to not allow teams to play if they can, particularly here. He's in quickly, and then Atuhu as well. Here's Miller, who uh, more forward for Sunderland at the moment. Halford, it's a difficult ball that. Hit that straight. Stokes is way on the left hand side. Might have been better. Look at the switch up. Well, he knows already. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think that uh, Sunderland have, uh, Liverpool have to win a, a battle here to uh, make off with the three points. Next, uh, his rant on several subjects, Rafa Benitez, over the past couple of days, has been some very warm words about Roy Keane as an up-and-coming manager. Well received in these parts. Torres. And now Babel. All played by Stokes. Oh, that's what Great York just wanted a little bit more time than Liverpool were prepared to give him. Murphy, one off his arm. Touch him there because it's Sunderland's throw. Watts. And Chopra has to take the throw quickly. Stokes, Murphy. Now Chopra. No testing Petty. They've had one or two decent situations that they haven't quite made the most of, Sunderland. York. Simply done by uh, Carragher, and that stooping header. Now Pennant. Bubble. Give and go with the Torres, it doesn't quite come off for Liverpool. of the Roy Keane discipline, the team stay in a local hotel the night before home games as well as uh, what they expect on away matches. It's not just because of an early kickoff. Well, he's always been uh, thorough in his preparation, certainly was as a player. Don't expect to see any different as a manager. That's a good away by Aga. Stokes. Chopra was uh, there for the through pass. It was a good idea by Stokes, as uh, Chopra acknowledges with a raised hand. It was very, very close, Martin, to be an absolutely top pass that from Stokes. It was only a yard off connecting with Chopra's run. Sizoka. Clement. Stokes involved defensively this time, but he's uh, been penalised. Chance for Liverpool to do from a set piece, which they haven't done from free play. Their only real chance coming from a bad back pass by uh, Halford in the opening seconds, and a subsequent corner that's Herpia volleyed goalwards. He's off now. Agger's up there as his uh, replacement. And 
staying calm. Torres. And another indication of uh, Dwight York, defensive mm -hmm. midfielder. Not easy, I mean, he's trying to play the game, York, at his own pace and get on the ball. But Liverpool are making him play very quickly, like that. But he's good enough to deal with it. Trying to chase his uh, own flick. And that's where there was someone's a player of last season. Must have been a good few candidates for that mm. award. Over ten minutes to go to half time. Both sides with the four points so far this season. Liverpool, of course, having played one game less than Sunderland. talks about the strength of squad that he has Benitez and it's games like this when things aren't quite going their way 35 minutes of not a lot happening that he might just well use an awful lot of that squad today a very strong bench absolutely no doubt about that and in his uh, three years and a bit as Liverpool's manager they have lost more away Premier League games than they've won oh. <laughs> that's a start son it's a pennant. It's a very good run. It's not a very good shot by Suzuka. It almost turned out to be a pass for Voronin, who was taken by surprise. Fidden. Abelard. Still working very hard. It's not the first promoted club to come up with a work ethic, and it's hard in uh, these big league games to sustain it for the uh, 90 minutes plus. Bubble. Alonso. Reach a penance head here. Torres going in behind him. Suzoko. He's hit that one better. He has scored his first Liverpool goal. Oh, what a hit this is. Well, who was going to step up and be Steven Gerrard? <laughs> There's your answer. Lovely crossfield pass from Alonso. It starts at all, though. Work it really well, Liverpool. You watch that, picks out Pennant. And this is just coolly done. Keeps the ball in play. A little set up from Boronin. It goes it to it to close him down. Does he go with real purpose? Does he go with real drive to block this shot? Have a look at him. Does he get there? Well, he gets there. It's through his legs and he's a little unlucky. So is the goalkeeper. It starts to just bend away from Craig Gordon as he hits it. Beautiful strike. Probably the only place he could score. Well, it's been 37 minutes of uh, quite. Mediocre football at times. And that was quality. And that's 1-0 Liverpool at the Stadium of Light. And coming uh, so quickly after a no sort of shot, really. Maybe uh, Gordon didn't quite anticipate the velocity that he would be faced with. Brushed his fingertips. It kept on going and it's a, a celebratory moment at the Stadium of Light for Mohamed Suzoko, who, as I mentioned earlier, was red-carded when Liverpool last played here. And whether it's a goal for or a goal against, not much changes on the Sunderland manager's expression. Shape. 
is a two hit. That's by Voronin and by Pennant. Liverpool uh, almost learning from Sunderland's approach. Stokes. Yeah, they'll be a little happier than Liverpool manager now. Torres turning McShane. Pennant for Torres again. And just not for the first time really in this first half. Just mm. ran away from Torres at the crucial moment. And again, Nosworthy was there to deal with the danger for Sunderland. <laughs> and all the confidence now lifted to Liverpool. Wouldn't surprise me if the football starts to pick up as well. What they have been, I've just given you some statistics to uh, criticise Rafa Benitez's record away from home in the Premier League, but when they do get in front, they are capable of uh, shutting down the opposition and closing out the victories. Yeah, they're very good at that. Defensively, one of the best. Have been for a few years now. Says OK. Sunderland just need to get to half time now, and the manager can do some work. Do not want to concede another. In these next five minutes, Babbitt. And now trying to hold him off, he hasn't done that. It deflected and off for York. And if it doesn't get it very far away, it's Sissoko again. That's maybe a, a really big five minutes ahead in this uh, first half. from Sunderland's perspective. Voronin. Torres going in, but McShane made it his. Even though it's crossed a corner. It's good, it's a good header. Good header. Mm. The eyes would have lit up a little here. Fernando Torres, he would have thought McShane was struggling, and he's coming straight in. Behind him. Good defending. Torres. Well, they want uh, you to talk about it over and over again. He's finally off the mark for Liverpool. Well, the build-up's good. And they keep it in there. The setup's very nice. And it's one of those you step onto. And a little bit of swerve on the ball was crucial. And as usual, he'll immediately now get his defenders ready. Yeah. Not quite sure what that means, but... And that's really... Torres is uh, around him, and... Uh, the defender was uh, dispossessed, he's recovered, and uh, put himself out of the jam, but... At this level, there's no time for dwelling. York. Very hard for McShane, but uh, he was judged well in the end. It feels a bit breezy up here in the northeast. Shielding the ball with the bodies and 
I think he just thought, well, whoever claims loudest will get it. Babel win it. Alonso, position where he is. Uh, the move going for the goal. And it was a bit wider that time. It's his throw. <laughs> and it maybe had the Sissoko thinking about defending the lead that he's given Liverpool at half time approaching rather than looking to add to it. The two here, advantage played by Mark Hulsey. Halford. Too much of a hurry, he knew what he wanted to do to get it down the channel. In fact, there was no one running that channel on that occasion for Sunderland. This is Oko. Go for goal again here. <laughs> Sunderland will be thinking, typical, isn't it? He's had three efforts, two of them really poor. And this is probably a better chance than his goal, because he sets it up lovely for himself to strike with nobody in front of him at all. He just drags it. Yeah, big time more than that, they'll be thinking he's been here a couple of years, why us? <laughs> yeah. No one stoppages in the uh, first half. Involving injuries for Herpia and Richardson. That's two added minutes, though. York. Thomas Wallace. Be chasing by Murphy and Chopra. Not too much avail so far. Done well by Voronin. You're talking fractions here. You really are. He's disappointed, Pennant. He might have just been a few inches ahead of Wallace. This is he flicks this on. Look how close this is. We're almost running side by side there. I suppose if there was a tape there, he breasted it first, yeah, didn't he? Yeah. Finnick. Oh, Miller couldn't keep it in. Roy Keane will be uh, wondering how much he can maybe let Sunderland off the leash mm -hmm. a little bit in the second half. But, uh, the danger of doing that, and he knows that only too well, it's that uh, the second goal conceded for the home side here, and might be curtains in this particular fixture. There's a miscue on his weaker foot by Wallace. Voronin has to slide it to Pennant. It tires free header, and Gordon has oh, just stopped it crossing the line. Now, could that be a big moment in the game? There's a great chance for Liverpool to make it 2-0. Uh, maybe I'm being too critical here, but I think Torres should score, and I bet he feels the same. It's a very, very good save from the goalkeeper again. That's two big saves this lad's made. Down low, and he keeps it out. But I think Torres should put the game beyond Sunderland. A big save at the beginning of the half, a big save at the end. But beaten by... Momo Sissoko's successful impersonation of Steven Gerrard and at half-time at the Stadium of Light, it's Sunderland nil, Liverpool 1. Well, it was a big enough job when it was all level, but uh, Sunderland now they've got their work cut out now. Uh, Peter Reid, the former Sunderland manager, our guest this afternoon, uh, his team trailing here to a goal to nil. Sissoko the scorer, half-time thoughts when we come back. Uh, as we said, Peter, job and a half on a day against opposition that you'd think we can beat, we will beat, those teams about you. But uh, Liverpool have got other ideas, haven't they? I think, I think Liverpool went a little bit long from back to front first off. And now I think, uh, well, Benitez, I think he'll be saying, get, get in Alonso on, on the ball, let's start playing, let's get it out to Pennant. And it's going to be even more difficult for Sunderland this half. I mean, Roy's got a hard job, he'll be trying to say to his players, hey, where, come on, we, we've, we, can, we can get back in this game. But 
they'll be saying we've done that, Gaffer, and we're not in it yet. <laughs> well, they won't be saying that, but they'll be thinking it. It's, it's going to be very, very difficult for them. They, they've just got to go and shut down, work hard, and hopefully get a little bit of uh, magic play by somebody, or like I say, a quality dead ball that gets them a goal. And he'll be thinking, should have made it too, perhaps. Mm. Do you like him? I do, yeah. I think he's got good movements. I think he's a, a lovely physique. He's a, he's a focal point in the attack. And I think he'll get better once he gets used to the pace and the strength of the game. But I, I've got to say, I do like him. His goal-scoring record ain't that... It ain't great. But he was playing for the Athletic Madrid, or Atletico Madrid, so... And Liverpool now. Commentators Andy Gray and Martin Tyler. Well, Sunderland trailing to the 7,000th league goal in the history of Liverpool Football Club. Only Manchester United and Wolves have scored more. And the name of Momo Sissoko joins uh, that of uh, the likes of Kenny Dalglish and Roger Hunt. Billy Little, who scored uh, landmark goals in the uh, earlier years of Liverpool Football Club. Next in line for 7,000, Andy, Aston Villa. So a few of yours in there. That's all right. I'm going to yours with to Wolves. Wolves well, yeah. I must have done. It is the challenge now for Sunderland to really stop playing like the away team and try and uh, get to more pressure than they mounted in the first half. It's, it's a mindset, yeah. I think, they, as I've said, I'm not surprised that Roy would keep it tight first half and, and try and work Liverpool and keep it nil-nil as long as they, they possibly can, but I don't think they'll go gung-ho. They're a goal down, and it could have been worse, but for two uh, outstanding saves by uh, Craig Gordon. Murphy. And that's a right start. That's a foot in. Yeah, the right start. We'd normally want a corner or a strike at goal early on, just to lift the crowd there. I mean, these stadiums are brilliant and they do create atmospheres, but they can be very quiet when the things are going against the home side. That's poor. Put it. You load them all up from the back. It's one of the few chances where you can get plenty of players in the penalty area from a set piece. Wallace with the throw. Slept there by Halford, who didn't start the first half very well either. <laughs> Helped by Miller. It's Carrier. And the two who got in the way. Jamie Carrier, of course, not on international duty. Over the past few days, after his decision to stand down from England. Shane. Oh, just have to hurry it a little bit. That's the best kick in the end. The ball by Alonso. Torres. Gordon again. Kept his shape. Stayed big. Well, this is what he does, I think it's intimidation almost. Dwight York just a little sloppy in the edge of his own box. Borderline offside, but he's allowed the advantage, and he just jumps at him. Arms and legs, making himself big. It worked. Put Torres off slightly. Finnan. But you would expect Liverpool to try and pop it about a bit more. I mentioned the fact they were awful long first half like that. But I think the goal now... I mean, I think working Sunderland would be the thing for me. They do have that as an out ball, if they want to play long to the front two. You know, I'd expect to see the midfield quartet get involved a bit more in this game for Liverpool. Chopra trying to feed on scraps at the moment. Pennant. Just backs off and then uh, sees a challenge that he can make. And got some help from Stokes, who made a challenge probably he wasn't entitled to, but it worked out okay for Sunderland until uh, Suzoko got back. Alonso and spotted Voronin, but uh, didn't hit his uh, attempted ball well enough. 
Miller. It's neatly done. York. I just wonder about Miller. I mean, by his position. Against Tottenham, I mentioned it, he came on in the second half and he played central area and he really got involved in the game and moved the ball about the pitch. He was up to speed with it. I don't know whether that's something they'll think about. And Dwight York at 35. Might be asking a bit. Alonso. Come off for Pennant. He's a run on here. And get behind Wallace. Torres in the middle. That's uh, Jordan's ball. Yeah, he's normally the right side of midfield player Miller, isn't he? But you can mm. see uh, every time he gets possession, tries to influence the game through the middle. Yeah, he did that very well, Martin, against Tottenham. Nice link up between Chopra and Stokes. There's still Anthony Stokes. Made a big impression uh, in uh, the SPL started last season when he was on loan from Arsenal at Falkirk. But Voronin, some of them maybe have overcommitted here, but Voronin, chance to slide it in behind Noseworthy for Torres. Didn't quite take that chance. Miller. Matuhu, York wanting it and getting it. Wallace. Good pressure by Voronin. And the Torres to burst away here. Fernando Torres with a touch of class. And another great save by Craig Gordon. Well, I think he's just answering every single question that's been asked about him. The manager's had to say he's worth it. I think he's worth it. And he's shown here in, what, 50 minutes of football just why he's thought so highly. Finnan. Alonso. Sissoko. All square across to uh, Babel. Boronin. And Mark Halsey has uh, decided again, as he did once in the first half, it's a, a free kick on the edge of the Sunderland area. Well, it just busts away again. They're a little sloppy in the middle of midfield there. And watch the pace. Look at him, just breezes past him. And look at the goalkeeper again. Look how big and how long he stays on his feet. Makes himself a big target. And that's a really good save again. And here again, Osworthy just going in a little late on Voronin. Now, sometimes you say 2 0 is a, a dangerous lead, but I honestly feel if Liverpool get to 2 0, then it's pretty much game over. Pennant takes it, and off again. There's a lot of talk about England having a problem in goal. We can't say that about Scotland and Sunderland. No, I mean, the Scottish goalkeeper's thing, he's had a lot to live with since he started his career down here a couple of weeks ago. And he's had a big stage to perform on today, and he's had to perform the goalkeeper. Or well, Liverpool, by now, might well be out of sight. wanting a goal kick but it's uh, a throw and a chance for Sunderland to apply a bit of a squeeze here right back by that corner flag <laughs> Finn needs one or two a bit closer to it Wallace's well, header Noseworthy now Halford Who? Stokes, half thought about hitting it first time, didn't waste much longer after that either. Browning gives it away when there was a chance for a Liverpool break. And it's just how much Sunderland are prepared to gamble in the search for the equaliser. And the efforts of uh, Darrell Murphy were all to be uh, a bit too intrusive then. I do think linesmen in particular get too busy too early in a situation like Incidentally, that. Incidentally, Andy Halliday on the far side, he was the assistant who uh, 
penalised Pepe Reina at Bolton. You were, I remember you were there, weren't you? Yeah. And a free kick uh, was given that uh, Bolton scored from. of Amato to a go showed that turn of foot that so embarrassed Chelsea's uh, Ben Haim last Sunday. Well, he's definitely got that. I mean, that took me by surprise, I have to be honest. Probably not quite as much as the Israeli international, though. <laughs> Sunderland's free kick. Well, that's what they need to do, Sunderland players out there. They just need to get the crowd back on the side. Get them a little bit vocal. Get a bit of help from them. Oh, man, he's had so little to do. Wallace wants to take it. Chopper scored two goals already this season. And that's where he's up. He waves uh, all this forward. Pennant. And Barney won't get that. Uh, McShane stepped in. Had to work on the ball by Miller. And as his shirt was being tugged, or is it uh, having a bit of a kick at him? And a free kick taken with a moving ball. And the ball was travelling. A little. Only just. Must be getting close to Roy Keane thinking about a change as we approach the error mark. Off his cross. This is Oko serving Liverpool well. And he can break out now. And he got to that sort of position three or four times. Yeah, yeah. I think, think I better get to know you. The game, yeah. Yeah. I think I better get to know you as well. Vorin and, and Torres, still new players, very much new players. Just uh, beating the efforts of uh, Murphy. Job not done yet for Liverpool, though. Is it 25 or 26 goals? About 30% of their goals and winning the championship for Roy Keane's side coming uh, in the last 15 minutes. Winner against Spurs coming in the last minute. Equaliser at Birmingham coming in the last minute. Voronin. Alfred. Murphy. Shane takes it off. Remember, Liverpool players have been scattered far and wide over the past few days, serving their countries. I don't think mind that Liverpool mind of the game gets a little open. Got five forward now on the counter attack. Boren in. Oh, tried to spin around the other side of McShane. A nice ball in from Babola. Boren oh, in saying he got one in the face, a bit like a semi hippie felt earlier. Goal absolutely crucial. If uh, Liverpool were to get it, you would feel the points would be uh, safely banked. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. And you can imagine the reaction here if Sunderland were to score in this big, impressive stadium. Zoko. 
who has switched on late. You might be surprised to learn that he scored the Liverpool goal. <laughs> Coming after 37 minutes. Well, a change is about to be made, I'm assuming, anyway. Well, Sunderland has been called back. Yeah, it's gone out to Ledbetter, who uh, did very well for Roy Keane last season, but it hasn't been available so far this because of a hamstring problem. A two hook. I think it might be Dwight York who's place on the pitch might be questioned after that. I think he's just getting past Dwight a little bit this game at times. Murphy. Comes out here to Chopra. I don't know if he saw Dwight York, but we're just having a word with him. He got high up the pitch that time into the penalty area. Murphy just seemed to want to try and do it all on his own. He scored a, in the Premier League when Sunderland were last up. An equaliser against Spurs here. No swear it. Well, it's not been an easy start they've been handed at home, is it? When you look at it, you know, two of the top five in the last two seasons are out and playing you in the opening fortnight in your first two home games. Are. So it was never going to be easy for, for Roy Keane's side. Certainly to get wins. So a win win, a win against Tottenham, a huge bonus. Next weekend, go on. Away to Manchester United. <laughs> Alonso, Finnett. Liverpool in the lead, but you couldn't say in control, not at 1-0. Yeah, Pennant had a look at it, but I think realised he couldn't get there, and here comes the uh, second Sunderland substitution. Stokes on in the first half, remember, for the injured Richardson. No, that is Dwight. I thought it might be. The old hand. Yeah, no. But a young buck. You know, he knows himself. It's a physically demanding league, this, he knows that. And that area of the pitch that he's asked to play in now is more so than ever. Well, he's one of their own. Can't let bitter. Born in uh, nearby Chester Le Street. Looks like he's gone wide as well, and that, that gets Liam Miller infield. As I say, if he can get on the ball, Miller, then. He always wants it, and he always wants to take it. It's whether he can make something happen. Pennant. And Shane had to play safe. Just a moment there when a two who got booked in the first half, remember. Had to refrain from challenging in case he was in a position where he might be uh, sent off. On the way from home, sometimes uh, defenders courted two minds about how much they really should uh, attack 100%. If Finn had taken a chance, then he might have uh, put him behind Sunderland. He's back in and around Carragher, but Murphy gets the better of uh, the standing skipper today. Quite sure how Mark Holder can make that decision from where he was when the lines was looking right along the line. <laughs> Not to me like Murphy stopped it going out. Stokes. Murphy. And then foot in. And then two who there was a ball there to be one and it was his uh, he was the favourite to get it and he did. Stokes. Led bitter. Up his far post, it's Murphy. Maybe should have gone in first time. Too much time in the ball, Martin, absolutely right. Wanted too long. Don't get it in this league. Okay. Well, it's got it back and then... 
folks uh, see rightly so Andy is uh, flagged offside but Chopra was waiting far post maybe the ball was just a little slow to Murphy but uh, he could have whipped it in well he took a couple of touches on it you know for the first time there's space to put the ball into but play it in two three touches and by then Jamie Carragher's over and snuffing out the danger Chopra incidentally sold his house in Newcastle. He didn't expect to be coming back to the northeast when he moved to Cardiff. And Wallace has to scamper here, and Torres was a bit too quick for him, and suddenly they let off again. Well, I'm not sure the ball was meant for Torres, but he made something of it. It's just played hurriedly towards Voronin, but look at the way again he's speeding. If he gets this on target and up, then he scores. For once, Craig Gordon's got himself in a a hopeless position to deal with that if he just flips it over his head. And they caught no man's land, the goalkeeper there. Ledbetter. Delayed it rightly because it would have been... Well, it was a flag-up in any case, but there was a runner from midfield who was onside, a two hoot. You can see the concern around Paul McShane and company when uh, yeah. Torres is chasing going to overdrive a couple of times in the second half but uh, no trouble any yet defenders in this league Murphy away by Carragher Rafa Benitez is constant presence in the technical area, just trying to encourage his team to raise the tempo a bit. And he was watching his team run a bit now. Last week against Chelsea, fairly comfortable at 1-0. We know what happened then. It, anything can change a game. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, Liverpool only conceded one Premier League penalty last season. They've conceded one in each game so far this season, up till today, of course. This is Oko. So pushed over by a two hoot. He's not complaining. No, they were on the bench. Carrigan. On the subject of penalties, of course, uh, Sunderland conceded two at Wigan uh, last weekend. It could have been five or six. Miller. That's a great ball. That's a ball that Stokes didn't spot. The crowd spotted it. Foot was up there. That's what I mean about little Liam Miller. I do think that if you can get him the ball, he has got a range of passion and a bit of vision. Yellow card for Abeloa. When Stokes goes across the pitch, no one sees the pass until Miller gets the ball. It's a lovely ball dropped in behind Abeloa. Just bounced, see the foot really high there. Up it comes. Can't argue with that, it's a foul. Maybe a bit harsh for a yellow card. Mm. <laughs> And someone set it up with Chopra standing in there, but as uh, soon as the ball is approached, he'll, he'll come back out again. Wolford's very tall. Murphy's good in the air. Stokes in there as well. Nice worthy round the back. And up by Wallace. Rayner gets a touch on it, had to. Tumbling in a hurry. They've got two on one at the corner. Tipped in by Stokes. And just yeah. backing away. Greg Halford backing away, yeah. And the first free kick wasn't a great one. And allowed Rayner to come and deal with it. The corner was better. Some of the supporters thinking that uh, Jamie Carragher's using up time here, but... He's grimacing with pain, you can be sure he's hurt. Yeah, it might well have happened here in the free kick. The knee just, I think it's the knee, it just goes into the side. Put those ribs. Yeah. His own goalkeeper. And 
Nicely done by Wallace, who's a, a footballing left back, can play in midfield as well. And from Alonso, Halford, and to chase a rather heavy touch of his own. That won't reach McShane. Finn and Surik coming. Voronin. Sort of blast that yeah, worked in the Champions League qualifier in uh, Toulouse. Oh, a nice run from the straight partner, took the defenders away. Carragher's definitely got a problem here. He's not one of those that goes down. And the goalkeeper comes out. And you can see he just wins, he immediately reaches for that rib cage. Well, Sammy Herpier off in the uh, first half. The other standing central defender. And a bit of distress here. Well, we know, of course, that Liverpool have ambitions to be league champions. These are matches. Difficult away from home, hostile environment, the players have been away playing for their countries. Yep. But that's what you have to do. Some bruises, yep. but you're 1 0 up with 20 minutes to go, and if you're going to be champions, you have to win the game. Absolutely not. That's what Chelsea and Arsenal and, and, and Manchester United have done over the last 10 years or so. They've been able to cope with all that, and that's part and parcel of being champions of, of this country is to do that. Led bitter. Here we go, still off. And it's Chopra! Forced away, the goalkeeper's committed, he's on his way back now. A bit of trying to get across in, corner for Sunderland. Yeah, he just couldn't get it away from his body, Chopra, enough to swing the leg at it. Well, Sissoko did well, tracked him all the way in. Shane making a late run. Wallace. As a look, assesses the options. Oh, that must be close. That must be real close. Let me watch that. Bottom of the screen, look at that. I think that's harsh. Well, this is the ball in from Michael Chopra. He gets his body between Sissoko and the ball, but he just can't. Get enough to... Put his foot through it. Goalkeeper did well, was out nice and quickly to him. Probably back on for the moment. That's where they. I said he was a footballer. Yeah. Look at that from Ross Wallace. Stokes. And this is OK. Place. Sensibly enough in the circumstances, it was his ball, but he wasn't to know that Stokes was a yard or two off him. Kanga happy for Aga to clear. Big kick against Voronin. Well, Visa ready to do his bit, a little shift this afternoon. I just wonder if it would be Ryan Babel just to swap from that side. Yeah, it's been quiet. He hasn't done a lot. Yes, yeah, we feel the quiet nine bubble. Jamie Carragher's telling me, hold it. He, Jamie Carragher is screaming at them now, he's turned away in disgust. And, uh, he's talking about his, his ribs and he's saying, hold it, just give it a couple of minutes. Oh, that's goalkeeper. Cool. All over. Pity. And the fourth official, Graham Laws, is saying to Rafa Benitez, sort of gesture as if to say, well, what do you want to do? Well, it was Jamie Carragher who said, just give it five, don't go off just yet. And obviously, he missed. Understander on the bench, now he's asking Carragher. But... Stop! 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 Yeah, 
Uh, Jimmy Carragher's got, definitely coming off. Chopper. Put away from Aga. Halford. Early to Ledbetter. They do the change yeah. now. Clears and uh, Carragher says... <laughs> well, what he said actually, I don't think we can repeat. No. But, uh, says he can't carry on. Well, there's all sorts going on now. We need to just wait to change it now. Now the officials won't let them. That's better. And he's falling in. And he's nipping in again. A bit of order restoring to the Liverpool ranks here. Maybe uh, a second goal is the best way to do it. Mistake by Nosworthy. Torres put it so far forward that there was no one there to back him up. In the end, he was uh, left looking for a foul and he got into the Sunderland penalty area. No huge complaint from Fernando Torres. That's a little straight, that ball. Got to look for that angled one, that diagonal ball. It was on again there to the far side to Murphy, that ball. Now it's Jamie Carragher, now they can get him off. Well, there's only been the one other change, hasn't there? Mm. So, I'm not quite sure where the desperation was. The battle could have gone as well. There's still a scope for... It's only 15 minutes to go. Anyway, it's Risa for Carragher. No, just Arba Lohr's just Tony Tuck in beside Aga. Risa go left side. Nice to see that the communications between the officials and everywhere are working well at the beginning of the season. <laughs> and substitutions are uh, a difficult issue, even for the most experienced manager. And Rafa Benitez uh, comes into that category, certainly now, after his work with Valencia and three excellent seasons with Liverpool. Well, Babel was definitely coming off, we know that, he'd made that decision. And the injury to Jamie Carragher, of course, has changed that. Very clumsy there, Michael Chopper. He was struggling, I got to deal with that. And I just think, when you know, he's facing his own goal, I go, look at this, what can he do? He can only hook it up in the air. And the one thing you don't want to do is get him on my way out. And that's exactly what Michael Chopper has done there. From Liverpool being under pressure, and now Reina can launch it. McShane, he only uh, plops down for Andre Voronin. A decent effort from uh, long range, another textbook stop by Gordon, making sure he got everything behind it. Well, he likes a hit, Andre Voronin, that's for sure. But Liverpool started with uh, Carragher and Herpia in the middle of their defence, and they're finishing with Arbaloa and Aga. And Stokes. That was ambitious, but it very nearly brought Sunderland level. Well, it worried the goalkeeper. He gets the sight of this, he knows it's going wide, he leaves it alone, but look at the waves right over to it. Reina, he's certainly worried enough to. Get his body across. Good hit. Dal Murphy off. And David Connolly. A much travelled goal getter. Living a spell in Holland. He actually needs one for 100 goals in his uh, league career in England. Halford. Here's Wallace. Stokes. Well, a strong finale needed by yeah. Roy Keensman. Well, they've not had too many attempts, only the four, and yet to work the goalkeeper. McShane. 
to uh, some of the defenders have been caught in possession. And uh, Rafa Benitez has lacked nothing in work rate from uh, Voronin and Torres. And making that happen. And there we are again. Torres just making it away from uh, McShane, who's responded well. He's come through the game well. And that uh, very bad cut, ten stitches, remember, last weekend. Torres is past him. And Boronin, and again Gordon keeps uh, Liverpool out. It's been a wonderful display from the homekeeper. Uh, another chance for Liverpool. Put this game away. Great play from Torres. And come the stats that you were talking about, Andy, there's no uh, suggestion that Liverpool... Don't merit their lead, it should have been a, a bigger one. Absolutely, uh, they're well worth winning this game. Well, let's go straight at him, I'll say that. He didn't have to do an awful lot but get in the way, but just watch the way Torres skips past me and then just lose a lovely ball back. He's good enough to just shuffle a couple of yards, the goalkeeper get his body in the way. I'm just thinking of the two centre-backs of Sunderland, their first two home games, they've had Berbatov, Keane, Bent, Defoe, Voronin and Torres and it looks like Kout's now coming on so fair old baptism at home for them Ross Wallace Led bitter, miss hit it sometimes that can uh, unsettle defenders they're two who Now Miller Liverpool have regrouped they haven't even got into those wide positions uh, as often as Roy Keane would have liked no, that was a chance, so it's a decent ball in. Just led better, didn't really strike it the way he would have liked. Back across goal. A very similar chopper in uh, Connolly, certainly in stature. It's another free kick that uh, Michael Chopper gives away. Well, he's been a busy goalkeeper. This is the latest of his saves. Boronin steps onto it. Thinks I'll have myself a goal. But he gets his feet in the way. What he's given is he's given... I'll tell you what he's given for me. He's given a great example of what Schmeichel used to do. Use every part of his body to make saves. He's made saves with his feet, with his chest, with his hands today. That whole body has got in the way of attempts from Liverpool players today. Well, the man he used to play with, Peter Schmeichel now manages Craig Gordon it's a very very good signing to Roy Keane nice done by Abeloa and Lisa Anthony Stokes and again putting his head into good effect he went with Miller here Oh, that's a long way out. I know Rainer was uh, yeah. on his way back, but I suppose in these circumstances, what, eight minutes or so to go, worth a crack. But I think he might have gone on here, Martin, because Liverpool have just got stretched here now. Look at the space he's got to walk into. He's got four players around him. He could have slid it through the middle, slid it wide. Just think, for once he made the wrong choice there. Torres. Rafa Benitez might well like the look of uh, the way Torres and Voronin have uh, dovetailed with each other here. Yeah, I think they've played well. I also thought Kout and Torres did all right against Chelsea last week, and that would have been a much sterner test, in all honesty. Kout is uh, still waiting on the sidelines. He scored for Holland in midweek. Not worthy. Something needing a goal from somewhere here. Ned Bitter. Pennant. 
was 2-0 when they played here last Liverpool. Coming on for two years ago. And still looking for that uh, second goal. Despite having had uh, a good number of opportunities to get it in both halves of the game. Yeah, I've watched them now twice. I've seen Liverpool's game against Chelsea today. And they look good. I've been impressed with them. The things that were very good last season, the season before, the defence, not giving goals away, still as good as ever, still look very solid. And I do think they've added, I think, the additions of Voronin and, and Torres will, and Babel on the ball now, although he hasn't played that well today, are very good ones. And what was the most important thing for to get off to a start that they didn't last year? See this one out. And that's a pretty good start. Yeah, you can't overemphasise the importance of that Steven Gerrard free kick no, at Phillip Park. Absolutely not. Had it been a, another draw, and all the talk of uh, Liverpool's uh, early season lethargy from previous uh, campaigns. And to uh, follow that up with three points here, that's uh, not done and dusted yet, but time is ticking away, and time is the enemy to Sunderland. You look at the goals, of course, away from home, an own goal and a, a world-class free kick. Yeah. Uh, I said, one, one in a Premier League lifetime, maybe, for Momo yeah. Sissoko. <laughs> and as we've said, they, they, they've had chances, they've had other chances, probably four or five decent ones where they might have got themselves a second goal. Well, handball by Sissoko, but it ran the way of Miller, who's done his best to be the creative force for Roy Keane. Babel. Sissoka. Remember, Sunderland's capacity to score late in games. Ledbitter. This is Connolly. Ledbitter and Chopra in the centre. Connolly uh, trying to get there himself, but uh, leaving Halford to play it in. Oh, it's such a pity that, because there's no excuse for it. It's a barnstorm of a challenge from Nosworthy. Just in the last third at times, you know, there's been a little bit lacking of, of, of quality. Sunderland have had the ball. But maybe not from Liverpool. It's foreign in. And finally, Liverpool wrap it up. With four minutes to go, Andre Voronin scores in the Premier League for the first time. And they've had so many of those counter-attacks and they've finally made one count. It's Sunderland nil, Liverpool 2. This is so well worked. You watch how quickly they break. Deep in their own half. And suddenly, the player's making runs, a little give and go here. Now watch Torres just pick him out. He might have shot himself. He says, go on, have another go. He said, plenty shots for him. And this is a really good finish. Straight across the goalkeeper into that far corner. Gets a bit on it, but not enough. Good hit. Game over. Well, the late goal here has come from Liverpool. Ledbitter. Chopra. Miller. Charged down by Suzoka. Oh, the scoreline defending. You're seeing the scoreline more reflects how the game's gone. Yeah. I think when you look at the attempts on goal, we've been so much in Liverpool's favour. The saves that Craig Gordon's had to make today, the lack of activity around Pepe Reina's goal. I don't think anyone can argue that Liverpool are well worth this. No, with the greatest respect to the efforts that Sunderland have put in for Roy Keane, and they certainly have. I mean, the difference in resources is immense. And it might be an even wider difference on the scoreline because uh, Torres has another chance. I'll tell you what, the three of them, Cout himself and Voronin, when they play Martin, they're going to be a pain in the neck for defenders because they don't give them a moment. We're in the 88th minute of this match and still Torres is there, hassling defenders, making them make mistakes. Well, Rafa Benitez and maybe Jamie Carragher as well have said now that uh, Ryan Babel can come off. One Dutchman for another.
No, they've taken the goal kick, but the referees come over below us. Have we got a, a technical problem? Well, let's hear from uh, Jeff Shrews. Let's hope Jeff's uh, technology is working. Jeff. Yeah, that's working OK, Martin. I can give you a bit of injury news for Liverpool. Sammy Hoopier did, in fact, break his nose, but they reset it at half-time. Jamie Carragher, though, they are concerned about. He's off to hospital now for an X-ray because they are concerned that he may well have broken a rib. They don't know as yet. It's too tender to tell, but he's off to hospital now. Well, it wouldn't surprise me if that was a, the outcome of that. Off in the knee and that rib cage area it can be pretty damaging. Hope you're still tending to the damaged nose. Always makes me squirm when they say that. They reset it at half time. Oh no, thank you very much. Oh. Oh. He'll be available for Tuesday. Don't worry about that. And Jamie Carragher will have to wait and see. It. Liverpool play to lose at home in the second leg of their Champions League qualifier. One in luck from the first leg, of course, by one of their scorers here today, Andre Voronin. Stokes, Miller, and Finnan finds a way out of the difficulties. The difficulties get supported by Reyna. Chopra, Etuhu, trying to wind himself up for the shot. Counter-attack is on again until Penna just overindulged for once. And uh, didn't realise that Miller was all uh, around him. Chopra might just have been onside then. And then. I looked over at the lines, but I think he signalled in the air below that the flag would have gone up if they got in it. That sure never walk alone that's echoing around the Stadium of Light. And closing down by Connolly. Chopra's turn, back heel for Connolly. Oh, Edbitter is waiting behind Arbeloa. Deep into stoppage time, a Sunderland corner. Wallace. Foot. Now that's where it and Stokes. Oh, he's uh, left free in his wake here. Anthony Stokes. Oh, oh that was uh, Agger who flung yeah. himself at the cross. Referee had a very good uh, line on it. A two v one here. Voronin trying to give a goal to Torres. I don't think Torres helped him, man. Torres was stood right behind the defender. Maybe even offside. Boron in. Well, they're not going to rue the missed opportunities. No. And uh, I talked at the start about how few away goals they got in the Premier League last season. 18 and 19 games, but they certainly, with the, this improved squad, look capable of getting many more this time around. Yeah, I think this is a pretty good couple of weeks for Liverpool, the start of this season. There's an awful lot for the fans to be optimistic about. Long way to go, mind you, of course there is. But instead of chasing, as they were, almost from day one when they drew at Sheffield United last year, they're not, they're up there and amongst it. And that's yeah. where Sunderland was McShane. <laughs> Halford. Chopra. Corner. Considered by uh, Agger. Shane going towards the near post, right into the mix. 
Warren in. Well, Liverpool didn't like the early kickoff. That's what Rafa Benitez said. But with three points here at Sunderland, they can sit back and watch their rivals over the weekend. Back-to-back -back defeats for the home side after four points from their first two matches on the return to the Premier League. But Roy Keane never pretended it would be easy. Voronin wrapped it up after Sissoko set Liverpool on their way with his first goal for the club. Sunderland nil, Liverpool two. Mm, comprehensive as it turned out in the end for Liverpool. Barclays Premier League looks like that. No change for Sunderland at all. But for Liverpool, a significant leap into second place. Seven points they return from three points. And what a difference it makes. A good start. Ipswich meet Palace at one o'clock tomorrow on Sky Sports 1. Super Sunday finds us at Old Trafford with Manchester United at Martignol and Tottenham from half past three. Peter Reid is with us. We'll get his thoughts in a moment or so on a difficult day out for Sunderland. Not sure if you can draw too many conclusions when they've been playing opposition as good as Liverpool. Man of the match and reaction next. Live only on Sky Sports. All the passion. Drama. Absolutely magnificent. La Liga is back. A new season of La Liga in association with Sky Bet starts tonight at 7 with a double header. Live Sky Sports Extra. When is a good deal not a good deal on car insurance? When you pay more for a policy through some of those price comparison websites than if you'd gone direct to the insurer. Direct Line has always cut out the middleman and so is only available direct, which means the price you see is the price you'll pay. That's better. Direct Line. A good deal. Better. What's cooking at B&Q this bank holiday? Spend over £3,000 on any premium B&Q select kitchen, including worktops and appliances, and get a tasty £1,000 off the installation. Plus, get six months interest-free credit when you open a B&Q account card. But hurry, offers end soon. Imagine a Britain without score. Men would have nothing to talk about. With no football to discuss, men are forced to talk to women. Thankfully, this frightening vision can never become a reality. Not while SCORE comes free with the news of the world every Sunday. Britain's favourite football pullout, covering every piece of action from the Premier League to non-league. Thank heaven for SCORE! Sunshine on DVD. Their mission to save the world. We have a payload to deliver to the heart of our nearest star. Heart pounding knife edge action. We have a major incident. There is nothing more important than completing our mission. Get back to the airlock now. Sunshine on DVD Monday. There is a place of opportunity. A place that's not concerned with where you come from, but where you want to go. A place where there are more than 500 ways to reinvent yourself. Where inspirational learning helps shape your future. And where cutting-edge research is shaping the very world we live in. A place where you'll find all the support you need to become everything you want to be. The Open University. Call or click through now and open doors. Everyone knows a bloke like Mickey. To Mickey, hair isn't just hair. It's a weapon to be used to devastating effect. Mickey hates flakes, of course. He's got a look for every occasion. There's the fluffy puppy, windswept and interesting. The intellectual, plain gorgeous. And his personal favorite, morning hair. Like Mickey, blokes who know voted head and shoulders number one in FHM's readers poll. A Michelin tire could last more than once around the world. That's why Michelin makes sure that it performs from the first to the last mile. Michelin. 
This summer, can we talk? Goodbye, Dennis. The world's most hopeless romantic. Oh, what is her problem? You left her at the altar when she was pregnant. Dennis! You prat! Must go the distance. I'm running. To win her back. You've never finished anything in your entire life. How much further? It's a little tiny nine miles. Simon Pegg, Candy Newton. Yeah? I'm fine. <laughs> run, fat boy, run. I'm not fat! I'm unfit! Look for impressive performance. Notice the space and comfort. Discover a revelation. The Chrysler 300C. You can't miss it. Not just solid Liverpool, a very good professional performance. Three points into second place. They were talking about the title at the start of the season. They're beginning to convince people that they might be able to put a challenge together, I would have thought. Two nil winners at Sunderland, Sissoko and Voronin, the scorers. Peter Reid, what do you think? Are they title material? Oh, Seriously this time? Without a doubt. Don't concede. I think the away form last year let them down. And on, on the evidence of today, very, very professional, very solid. Sissoko won man of the match, but I've got to say that the boy Torres up front as well looks a hell of a player. Chances, didn't take any, yeah. but is it, is it good he's getting into goal scoring positions and will they come? Well, he kept getting there. He's missed about, he could have scored three goals, didn't get any, but a player of that quality sooner or later they'll come. Rafa Benitez is with Jeff Shreves. Rafa, just how important a victory was that? I think it was really good, really important for us because uh, the team show character. I think that we played well. We had uh, a lot of chances, and okay, we killed the game at the end. Could be before, but uh, I think it's uh, really good for our supporters and for everybody in the club. Perhaps should the margin of victory been greater? Yeah, I think that uh, analysing the game, we had so clear chances that maybe could be before, uh, but uh, in this uh, time, in this uh, period when everybody was talking about our performance away the last season, I think it was really important to win. Does it show the strength of your squad that Momo Sissoko comes in in place of Steven Gerrard, gets his first goal and walks away with a Man of the Match award? Yeah, 7,000 goals for the club and then he will be in the books. I think it was uh, important to see different players and doing the job, no? uh, so that uh, the strong that is our squad now. The only bad news of the day were the injuries. How concerned are you about Jamie Carragher and how long could he be out for if it is a broken rib? Both uh, Sammy lost his vision in his eye and then we need to change and Carra will have uh, x-rays in, in ribs and then we will see which is the situation. But really, it's just to wait and, you know, now uh, the manager is the doctor. Right now, do you get a feeling with the start you've made? I know it's very early in the season, but there is something different about the club, something different about the belief and the atmosphere. Yeah, I think that you said before, no, we have a stronger squad now and then you can see a player that can run behind the defenders and you know always that you will create chances. No? That is a confidence also for the players. Thanks, Rafa. Thank you, Chus. Never happy, are they? Great win and still he wants more. <laughs> I think he looks a confident man, as mm. you know. You know, I think he knows that they're, they're going to be close. They're going to be dead or dead about them. Sissoko, as we've heard, getting the 7,000th goal of Liverpool's long and glorious history. And his first, Peter. Mm. Well, this was the first real bit of football he played. They'd been too long for me, but Pennant's in a good position. And this is a great layoff. Nice and care. It's a great strike. I mean, the keeper, I've got to say, the keeper was outstanding, but when I keep, when I keep looking at this, he's got no chance. He's got Swerve on and away from him through somebody's legs. And it tells you he was their best player. Craig Gordon, he was Sunderland's best player. Second was a beauty, wasn't it? That was a great goal. You know, um, the build-up's tremendous. D deep in on off, Babel and Pennant link up ever so well. And Torres, who was outstanding, except for his finishing plays, Vonan, wrong foot to defender, hell of a stride. The keeper gets a hand on it, but he hits it with too much pace. Pace and dip, great finish. I mean, it's, it's what they deserve. They were, um, they were a better side, as we know, but they, Is it they difficult look today to make conclusions about Sunderland, bearing in mind what they were up against? Because it's not going to be oh, United next week, mm. but it's not going to be like this every week, is it? No, Liverpool are outstanding side. The, the thing that they've got, Sunderland, is that they've got a great spirit and they keep going and they keep going. Um, I think the goalkeeper's outstanding. 
goals in it, goals keep it in. I think they've they've scored um, three goals. That's that's going to be the main concern. I think the spirit and the way they play. But the final third, I think, just Hit a bit target. more invention. Yeah, Truth and a bit more they invention. Today, did they? Got to do that. Well, the keeper. They haven't worked the keeper. Uh, Roy Keane is with Jeff Shrews. Roy, in the end, did they just have too much quality for you? I think so. I think um, obviously they, they've got a good chance, as everyone's saying, to, to win the league this year. And, and we saw that with the strength and depth they've got today. Uh, overall, not too many complaints, I have to say. Delighted with our lads. I think the efforts they put in, and we showed some good bits of quality. Uh, but it just wasn't our day. Is that what you have to do at the moment with what you have? Work that extra bit hard? Of course, yeah, but that's never been an issue with the, with the players and, uh, and that was the effort everyone to see. But I, I thought we showed good moments of quality today. Um, but, you know, it's, it's tough when you're playing against um, teams like Liverpool and it's just the strength and depth they got is, is very, very strong. So it was always going to be a tough, tough afternoon for us. You won't look for excuses, but the, the start you were handed, does that underline how tough the Premier League is? Yeah, it is. We could have had easier ones, I suppose. But, um, you know, obviously we've got um, another tough game next weekend. Um, so it's been a tough start for us, but that's, that's the beauty of the Premiership. You know, I think every game is going to be, you know, difficult. We found out that last weekend. But, uh, you know, it's the place we want to be. And, uh, you know, we have to learn quickly from, uh, from these games, uh, even towards the end there. You know, we were still trying to get a goal back when sometimes you've got to take your medicine and take the 2-0 defeat. Uh, but our players will learn from that. You know, that we've got a lot of young players, inexperienced players. Um, but, you know, you know, we're here to, to stay and enjoy ourselves. You've been linked with all sorts of players before the deadline comes. What sort of player do you think you need to bring in? What do you need to add? Um, well, uh, I don't think it's a time and a place to go into too much detail what kind of players I'm after. I think you know we maybe are sometimes lacking a little bit of experience. Um, so we're looking at one or two players, I have to say. We're probably short of um, maybe a striker and a defender. And we've picked up injuries at the start of the season already. We've picked up another one today. So, you know, your squad is tested a week or two into the Premiership. So uh, we're being tested, but, you know, I'm sure we'll come through with flying colours. Thank you, Roy. Cheers. Okay. What is it like to manage this club? Oh, it's a big club. I mean, the expectations at this club are massive, you know, considering they've been up and down, yo-yo. The, the, the supporters think that this is a club that can play in Europe, without a doubt, so it's difficult. And in, in fairness to Roy, I mean, I think he's Whitehead's out and Edwards, who are two of his better players. You know, so it's a struggle and it's going to be difficult for them. Mm. What, 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 why the level of expectation that they can play in Europe? Is that because they're always looking up the road and thinking, well, we shouldn't, we, 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 we can be competing with Newcastle? Would they be better just getting think, it right here? I think it's the history and the tradition of the club. You know, I think in, <laughs> way back in the 30s, they won, they won league championships and trophies. And, and even though the fans, they've, they've got that tradition about them and they've got a, they've got a fanaticism about the, the club. And they, they just think that, you know, I mean, like I said before, if they stay in this league, that's success and you can build on that. But that's the way the fans are. Well, it, if they're that fanatical, it comes with the territory. Mm. And Liverpool, uh, they are quietly accepting that they are a better squad than last year. Are they a better team and do they have more belief that actually they can go over the line? I think uh, Benitez is an excellent manager, coach, proved that in Valencia and, and you can see that with the team. They, they, they don't concede, they're hard to beat, but I think they've got something extra. He, he just mentioned something there, we've got something over the top now. Mm. Torres can go over just, the top. Just very briefly, was their lack of ambition sometimes what cost them? Their lack of... The, Again, to use the word belief. Well, no, no, because uh, they, they did it tremendous in the European Champions uh, League at, and, and away from home. I just, I just think uh, sometimes with the squad he had, I think he's happy with the squad. I think seeing him there, he's a lot more confident about the squad, uh, the squad over the Premiership race, which is a long, difficult one. But he's confident he's got the squad that will go very, very close. Appreciate your company. Pleasure. Thanks very much. Well, this is what we have on the way. Football today, next Soccer Saturday, of course. Uh, live football, Sheffield United against West Brom from the Championship at quarter past five. Good game in prospect, that. And don't forget to join us at Old Trafford for a Super Sunday tomorrow with Manchester United and Tottenham Hotspur, both looking for a win. We'll see you there.